What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, it feels so good to finally be back out on the water today. The lakes and rivers have all been frozen up for the last week and a half or so due to the winter storm, but the snow and ice has finally started to melt and we're back and it's a nice warm day. It's like 65 degrees. I mean, look at this guys. I got the toes out, <laughs> got the toes out to play. It's kind of windy out here today, uh, but it's warm. It's like 65 degrees, so complete reversal uh, from what we have had in the last week or so. And I'm excited to get out here and do some fishing. Um, I say that the ice and snow is melted, but our lake is still frozen over, so I can't do any fishing out there. So I'm back out here on the river. We have some current running through, so it's not frozen. And uh, we're just gonna try to catch some fish today. It's not exactly ideal conditions for striper, but I have some gear to catch striper, but mainly today I'm gonna be focusing on throwing a little double jig rig and just trying to get back in the swing of things, get back to catch some fish. Uh, for a guy that fishes like 300 days out of the year, um, it's tough to go seven days without fishing. I was literally starting to get a little bit depressed. Um, but anyways, I'm happy to be out here. I'm hopeful I'll catch some fish today, and I hope you guys are excited to join along with me. So if you are, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's catch some big ones. There we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. That feels like a crappie. Feels like a crappie. Can't tell how big he is. But he feels, oh, it's a crappie, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off, big guy. Oh, it's a nice crappie. Nice crappie, get in the boat. Yes, sir, let's go. <sighs> Cut ourselves a crappie. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Really solid white crappie to start off the day. It's very windy out here. Wasn't really expecting there to be a crappie, but he thumped just like one. There might be a school of them out there. Let's get him on the stringer and let's get back out there. Another one, another fish. Feels like another crappie. We might have another crappie on here, guys. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, it's another crappie. It's another crappie. Come here, big guy, this is so crazy. This is crazy, it looks like another 10 entry. Come on, big crappie. Come on, big crappie. Come here, yes. <laughs> yes, another keeper. Look at that, another crappie, guys. This is so crazy, I don't never catch a crappie out here. How about it, I'll take that all day long. It's been a while since I caught some crappie. Gosh, there's another one. Another fish. Got another fish, guys. Oh my gosh, it's another crappie. It's another freaking crappie. Another crappie. Get in the boat. Let's go. Let's freaking go. This is crazy. <laughs> another crappie. Oh my gosh, the wind is blowing so hard. It's not really ideal fit, ideal fishing conditions, but dang, the crappie are smoking these grubs. I haven't been able to fish in so long because it's been frozen up, but we're out here and uh, we got ourselves another nice crappie. Another one, another one. He didn't thump it, just kind of loaded up. I don't know what this is. I mean, it feels like another crappie, guys. Honestly it does, it feels like another crappie. I don't understand what's going on. It's another crappie. It's another freaking crappie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude just loaded up on it. Didn't feel a thump or anything, but that is another slab in the boat. Let's go. That's another crappie. Freaking thumped it. Thumped it. Thumped the crap out of it. Oh, it's another, it's a big crappie. I think it's a big crappie, guys. I think it's our biggest one. It's a big crappie. He is fighting weird. He is fighting so weird. Please be a big crappie. I know he's gotta be. He's gotta be. He's gotta be a big old slab. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the boat, boat flip. Oh, yes. 
He's not as big as I thought he was, but he is thick. He's kind of got some thicker shoulders on him. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm out here catching crappie right now. That's a beautiful fish too. We're gonna throw him on the stringer. It's every cast. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand, guys. Every single cast. And some are biting it on the fall. That's like I'm letting sink all the way down on the bottom. And then it's like a couple real handle turns and they're on there. Another nice one. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Come on, fish. I don't know how many are out there. They are loaded. They are loaded out there. And they're all the same size, just chunky like. 10 and a half, 11 inches. I mean, they are loaded. That's insane. There we go. There we go, there's another crappie. Feels like another crappie. <laughs> Dumped in and put some slack in there. There's this pelican out there, and uh, he's like swimming in circles out there where I'm catching those crappie at. Yeah, that's another crappie. I'm just gonna ski him on in. He's a nice one, he's got that jig choked. Let's go. He there. Dude, choked that thing. Another nice black crappie. Another one, I didn't even feel the bite. That's weird, it's like I'm not even feeling the bite. I'm, I have kind of a big bow on my line because the wind's blowing. I just loaded up again, I think we got another crappie. He looks like a little guy though. He's a tiny guy. It's like my first non-keeper I've caught. Yep, he's a little small. He's got some weird stuff going on with him. That's the, that's the first non-keeper I've caught. That's unreal. He's still like eight and a half inches or so. See you. Got him, got him, got him. Feels like another maybe small one. Can't tell how big he is. Feels pretty decent though, here we go. Let's see, let's see him, let's see him. <laughs> oh yeah, another keeper. Let's go, big boy. Here we go, another keeper. Money. Yep. Every time I land right there, I get bit. And we got another keeper on our hands here. This feels like a decent one. Of course, they're way out there, so it's kind of hard to tell how big they really are because they're so far out there. And they could be closer. I'm just getting bit out there, so I'm just gonna keep casting all the way out there. You know, he's just kind of spinning. He really may not even be a keeper. No, he's a, he's a little guy. Huh. He was just spinning. Just a little guy. I was hung up, <laughs> popped it off, and we got another one. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Come on, come on, big guy. Get in my boat. <laughs> Woo. That's another really solid one, guys. Big old fat slabs. Get him on the string. I'm running out of room on this thing. Feels decent. Well, it's a good one. Stay on there. Oh, it's a big guy. Yes, sir. Another big old fatty on a little grub. Who would have thought?
Feels like another good one. Come on up, big guy. Come on up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A nice one. Another one. <laughs> Another nice crappie. Get in here. Oh, he's up. He jumped. <laughs> he jumped. It's unreal how many crappie are out there. And they're all just the exact same size. Just the perfect eating size. Like, this is literally my favorite size crappie to eat. 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. And just doing it. Guys, if y'all had told me yesterday that I was gonna show up to that spot and I was gonna slay a bunch of slab crappie, I would have told y'all that y'all were crazy because I don't ever catch any crappie out there. Like, I've literally only caught like four or five crappie there ever. But for some reason yesterday, they were there and they were in there thick. And I'm not sure if they're gonna be there next time or not, but I'm glad that I was able to capitalize while they were. I had these fish on ice. Let me show you guys the full stringer in here. Here we go. I got a hefty stringer full of some nice slab black and white crappie. The white crappie were a little bit bigger, the bigger ones up here on top. Just some really quality eaten sized fish. And I'm excited to clean these guys. I haven't cleaned any crappie since, I guess the fall, since around Thanksgiving. So this is gonna be mm -hmm. awesome. And these are gonna be great eating. I've got 28 on my stringer. I was too shy of getting my limit guys. But anyways, I'm going to get these guys off of the stringer and uh, we're gonna clean them real quick. And we'll show you guys how we do that. Look who it is, guys. <laughs> the Slab Queen is making an appearance. Yeah, the Slab Queen didn't get to go fishing today, and she's a little jelly that you caught all these crappie. Hey, it wasn't me that said you couldn't go fishing. I know. It was Baby but C. Baby it was C. his fault. It was him. It was him. But look how big he is. I know. He's massive. He's massive. <laughs> but you're planning on getting out in the water and doing some crappie fishing yes, over I'm the going, next couple days. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna go tomorrow. Awesome. No matter what. <laughs> There's no stopping me. No matter what Baby C says. Yeah, and if I'm having contractions, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so I didn't go fishing, but I guess I'm gonna be in charge of cooking the fish today. Heck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this right here. We have some Louisiana fish fry and we have it in a nice bowl that has a lid to it. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna put our fillets in there. The geese are getting kind of rowdy out there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> They're excited because the lake finally thawed out. <laughs> oh yeah, those are some slabs. Now we put the lid on. And we shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Look at Jay's belly. Don't look at look my... Look at the belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much fun. Oh my gosh! Whew. Okay. Don't have any contractions now. I'm exhausted It's now. not worth it to have contractions over shaking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew shaking fish could be so exhausting? Those look pretty good. Yeah. Pretty evenly coated, if I don't say so myself. Now what you gonna do? Now we are gonna drop them in the grease. Oh, time for the transfer. Oop. Oops, sorry. You're good. That looks hot. Let's see if it really is, though. <laughs> what do you think? You think it's gonna be hot? Do a little taste. Or do a little test. Ooh. I think it's good to go. It's hot. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that. These are like 
Really good size. I know those are the, I mean, that's what I was saying. These are like, like the perfect sized eaten crappie. Literally my favorite. I would rather catch a limit of those than a limit of one pounders or two pounders every any day. I mean, I say that. I'd rather catch and keep and eat these fish than keep a limit of like two pounders. Those look good, Jay. And now, oh wait, there's one more. One in more. Here. Can't leave him hanging. <laughs> leave our buddy hanging. Nice. And now we wait. How long? Like three minutes. Three minutes. Until the fish is floating. You promise? Because I am very hungry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could barely wait three minutes. So while round one is cooking, we're going to get round two going. Because we don't want to waste no time because we are so hungry. I like that technique. <laughs> Look at this form. It's immaculate. How are you feeling about those big boss? I think they are ready. They are floating. Poke them with the forks if they're crunchy. Oh, yeah. In the fork test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see the transfer now from there to there. Oh, mm. hold on a second, look at that. Golden, delicious slab. Ooh, steamy too and hot. Mmm. This be like the first day where we're eating fried fish in a while where it's not like absolutely freezing outside. I know. There we go, ooh. Mm. Nice little dump. Round two. Round two, <laughs> round two. You already, yeah, you already shook those. We ain't messing around. One more thing while we're on the topic of delicious fish. It has been a hot minute since we've had fried fish. It really has. It's got to, it's, it's got to have been at least like a month and oh a half, gosh. two months. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a really long time. We've been eating healthy. We'll eat some healthy stuff with this, but you just can't pass it up on some fresh, slabby little crappies. Hey, is that round three? Round three. Round three, look at all this fish. All right, we got round three going on in the deep fryer, but we are going to do the official Colin J taste test <laughs> on these fried little baby slabs here. I say baby slabs. These are slabs. These are nice sized crappie. We have about run out of daylight. We got our little our little deck light on, so we got to make this quick. Here we go. You got me a piece? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh. Eat that piece. <laughs> she she smashed sorry. it. You <laughs> smashed it. Look at my piece. I'm sorry. Look at my piece. Eat it. I'm <laughs> One, starving. One, two, three. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Look at her. Her mm. face says it all. Mm. She's a happy preggy lady. <laughs> that was fantastic. Hopefully that wasn't weird the way I ate that. It's kind of just ate it kind of like a kind of like a, like a cartoon cat eats a fish. Man, mm. these are really good. So fresh, so clean, wild caught, all organic, non-GMO, <laughs> crappie. <laughs> the slab so good. queen knows how to cook them. Mmm, good cooking, Jay. It's so good. So <laughs> simple and so good. This is where we are going to end today's episode. We hope you guys enjoyed hanging out on the river today, catching these slab crappie. It was completely unexpected, but I will never complain any day of my life whenever <laughs> I get on a school of slab crappie. And next time, hopefully, J-Baby here yeah. will be with me to enjoy the moment. I hope so. <laughs> it's gonna, hopefully we'll catch some tomorrow. We're going tomorrow. Hopefully we we'll catch some tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed it, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the future Catch and Cook action. We're, We're Colin Jay, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye.